Stranger Wings? Stranger Rings? Oh, Stranger Things. All right, we are back at it again today. Coming in hot. I actually first wanna say this video may contain spoilers if you have not seen Stranger Things season four, part one. You should probably not watch this video yet because I may talk about things that happened in the series so far, but I have no idea what's happening in part two because this is coming out the day the part two drop. All right, we all know and love Stranger Things. I remember when it first came out, I don't even remember what year it came out, but it was just so freaking hyped. Like everyone was just buzzing for it. And it's been going on now for so many years. They're spending like $40 million on an episode. It's big things. This season in particular with like the hour, two hour long episodes, like crazy. I do have to say, I'm not one for like the grossness of like, you know, when they're tearing people apart, like chick, 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 chick. Don't love that. But the story is amazing. Obviously I'm attached to the characters. So I'm still in the vibes of it. You know what I mean? I just have to kind of, I'm not one for the gore, the whore, none of it. But as you can see, I'm dressed in my Stranger Things colors. Go team. I got all my red on and I'm excited. I think you guys can already guess what we're gonna be doing for breakfast. It's kind of obvious. So you guessed it. Good old Eggos. Now, technically, I can't have actual Eggos because they've got, I think they have, I don't know if they have milk or they have egg in, but one of those two. But I have my own brand of vegan toaster waffles. And I was just doing a little research because I was trying to remember does she eat them frozen? Does she eat them cooked? The first time she eats them, she eats them cooked. The second time she eats them, she eats them frozen which is kind of interesting. But then people were kind of debating that maybe she cooked them with her mind because she's got the whole telekinesis thing going on. So because she eats it cold, we're gonna try it cold. And I actually know some people enjoy like Eggos frozen. I think even my brother kind of does. So we're gonna give it a little go. Cold on the tooth. I don't think it's for me. I mean, my mouth kind of warms it up. My mouth is kind of like the toaster. I don't know. We're gonna, yeah, I think that's gonna be better. But then I also think that she eats them plain, right? Like she, I think maybe in later seasons she has them with like maple syrup or like toppings, but like OG Eggo waffles, nothing but waffle. Now our little Eggo is nice and hot, much better hot. Who might eat a cold Eggo? It would be much better with maple syrup and with butter. Honestly, sometimes I'd even just take butter and a waffle over maple syrup and a waffle because the waffle's already kind of sweet. So then you add the butter on and it's like a sweet waffle right? Right? Feeling very 11 vibes. I could just move chairs, kill demogorgons. I feel like I'd save the world on this diet. I've been trying to think back and like going over all the season three two and three kind of mixed for me like i couldn't looking back i was like oh i didn't really like that they happened in different seasons those two for some reason are like together in my mind i don't know what my favorite season is so far probably had to be honestly just season one because it was the peak you know what i mean but that's like with most shows the first season is just like and i don't even know if they plan on doing other seasons once they did season one because it like you know it kind of just turned into this huge thing so like it might have i don't know if it was just like a one-off that they're like oh we're doing one season and then it went so well that they're like oh we have to do more seasons because like the og season was just like but what's your favorite season they all have something to them you know a little something something Boo! did i scare you Ooh, strange next for lunch we are having the iconic spaghettios which are featured in this season by a new character a new friend there are so many new characters there's kind of like a, a hint dropped um by millie bobby brown that she said like there's a few too many characters like we might have to get rid of some of them so i don't know if that's like a spoiler she's trying to like hint at us that characters are gonna die bandit i don't know better not be steve my boy steve the hair harrington i love him and i love what's his name dustin match made in heaven so eddie is having i think it's spaghettios not alpha gettys but this is all i could find at the store in terms of small lettered pasta couldn't find any o's only the alphabet so i feel like it's close enough you know what i mean like it gets the job done i have never had i don't think i've ever had actual spaghettios or alpha gettys but i'm gonna have one today for the first time i always 
wanted like Chef Boyardee stuff, you know, like that commercial where the can is rolling like, I think that's Chef Boyardee, it's like through like an entire city and then they're like, huh, and then they like eat it. It looks so scrumptious. So look at these little guys. Look at these little guys, you see them? Look how adorable they are. I could just have way too much fun with these and like making notes for people or like <gasps> spaghetti necklaces or something. Endless possibilities of fun. In terms of the sauce, learned a really cool trick that if you literally just to break the seal on the top of a jar, boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so we're adding sauce to a pot and then we're adding in like onion powder, garlic powder, sugar, a couple other little, you know, zhuzhes. And that's literally our sauce. How simple is that? All right. We got our juicy little sauce, which looks and smells really good. All right, we're gonna toss our SpaghettiOs into our sauce. Put a little mixy mix. I think we've done it right because I think they're supposed to be quite saucy. So, I mean, that's looking pretty scrumptiously umptious, is it not? We got our O's or Alphagettis, I guess. And we're gonna eat them exactly how he did, out of a pot, with a spoon. Actually, I'm gonna kick it up a notch. We're gonna eat it, pacing, waiting for the basketball team to come beat us up. And we're doing our girlfriend. You're really freaking good. Like, really freaking good. I mean, I know pasta really disappoints, but this is slapping. If I was hiding out in a drug dealer's house, I would want to eat this too. Now you might be saying, Megan, I still have spaghetti sauce on my face. How can you forget a snack? A humble snack, everyone needs a snack. All my friends, where do you think I am right now? Inside an 80s style mall, and I'm about to go to an ice cream shop. What ice cream shop? Scoops Ahoy with our main, oh. Our main, oh. Our main girl, Robin, and our main boy, Steven. And we're just gonna have some delicious vanilla ice cream. And I don't have a cone, which is a tragedy in its own. <gasps> that rhymed! Um, but we're just gonna stick it in this fancy little designer glass. I think it fits the vibe. All right, cheers to the lads, to our humble ice cream scooping kings and queens. Cheers. Now the last, but very not least, of our culinary conquests today is the KFC chicken dinner. The episode is ingrained in my mind when Steve and Nancy are at the dinner and there's like the whole KFC thing. He's like, finger licking good. So that is what we are recreating today. So they had biscuit, the like chicken, and mashed potatoes. So, bing a bang a boom. I'm gonna bread some of my tofu up. I'm gonna season the heck out of it. We're gonna give it a little fry fry and it's gonna be absolutely delicious. We've got our dry batter and we just dunk it in the wet batter. Back in the dry batter. Oh my gosh, look what we have here. My, my KFC bucket of chicken. <laughs> All right, look at our beautiful plate, exactly how you want it to look. Beige. So I fully intended to deep fry these, but I just air fried them with a lot of olive oil. Look at that, look how. Like that's not, cr that's, that's crispy. Looking down at my plate now, I realize the only thing that I'm missing is some gravy. How did I not? think of the gravy. But anyways, we're gonna give it a go. Full disclosure, I did eat a lot of the mashed potatoes before this because I was getting really hungry. I'm actually really proud of this. She's beautiful. Let's give it a go. Look at that, juicy. And then I made a super quick three ingredient bun too. So fluffy on the inside and my camera's about to die. I just want to leave it with my boyfriend Tyler was just talking to me about how apparently like five characters are gonna die in this like part two of the last se of this season. And I want to put my bets down now. What do you guys think? I think it's gonna be Robin. I just have this weird feeling it's either gonna be Robin because I feel like maybe they're gonna make Robin almost die, but then Steve's gonna save her and then Steve's gonna die. <sighs> I think Eddie might die. I don't know if any of like obviously the main main cast, it's gonna be more of like the new people. You know what I mean? I feel like un unfortunately they're more disposable, but love to know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what video you want me to do next.